Hello everyone, this is Rock, and this is going to be my fifth, I believe, tutorial. And this one's going to be on water mills. Water mills is the first source of renewable energy I ever used, and I thought it was very efficient for how much it cost. I thought they are relatively cheap. Um, I actually built 44 in my old base, so that's how many I had. So they weren't, they weren't bad until I got the solar panels. Um, as you can see, I built a little... Uh, little little station down here where I'm gonna set up like what everything I need for each video and everything so this video is gonna be about water mills the next video is gonna be about windmills which I built one over there I don't know if you can see it in the video but it's right here uh, there's five of them and actually they produce a good amount of power they don't they're not actually running anything I just wanted to see how they worked they're nothing like solar panels but for for beginning they're actually really good so I recommend them but next, that's next video. I'll show you how to make the next video. This video, we're going to learn about the water mills. So, first of all, for the water mills, I don't know what I'm going to do, of course. Uh, first of all, for the water mills, uh, you're going to need water. Uh, I recommend a renewable water source. Obviously, I'm sure every one of you know how, knows how to do that. But if not, we're going to do one real quick. And yeah, I switched over to the bronze equipment and bronze tools. So I'm all armored out. I look all orange. It's kind of weird. I took my long fall boots off. I'm going to show you in a video. I'm going to do a video of uh, just random things that I've learned throughout that kind of don't go together um, pretty soon. But uh, for now, we're just going to... So this is how you make a renewable water source. I, I'm sorry. Just in case. You never know. Someone might not know. So I'm going to build one right here because we're going to need a ton of water. So there's a nice little renewable water source. Um, so that's the, that you'll need water to, to power them. So first of all, let's build one real quick. Um, the way to build one is right here. This is uh, the water mill. Uh, you need a generator, and I'll just show you the recipe for this real quick. We built one last video, but I'll just show you real quick how to make one. Two water mills makes you a generator, by the way. So you need a battery, or a chargeable one, uh, three pieces of refined iron, and an iron furnace, or an, a machine block in a furnace to make a generator. So you need a generator in the center and you need four pieces of wood on each of its uh, its sides, its vertical and hor horizontal sides, and then in each corner a stick. And uh, it's a pretty simple recipe and so let's grab all this stuff so we can make them real quick. Um, if this screen, I changed my GUI because I thought it was kind of big, it looked kind of weird. Um, if it doesn't look good, let me know and I won't do it again. Uh, so we're gonna make one. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab a crafting table so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Hold on. Well, don't hold on because I'm already almost here. Um, how I did this, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to build one, how to set one up, in in the way I did. Um, if you don't like this way, uh, that's fine. There's tons of ways. If you live near an ocean, I'm sure you can build a pretty cool looking, like I don't know, water plant. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, or uh, you're on a river. And you want to, you want to build one there. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Let's build one of these real quick. And uh, let's build them. So this is how you build a water mill. You put the, the generator in the sec, the center, like I just showed. The four pieces of wood, four sticks. Simple enough. You get two water mills per setup, so it's a pretty good deal. So that took me 22 generators to get to that. So. It's not that bad. Um, so yeah, that's what you need. You need water mills and water. And uh, obviously, you can just plunk one down in this in this water, but it's not going to be that efficient. Um, the way they work is kind of finicky and kind of shitty. Sorry for the language, but they just are. Um, the more water that surrounds them, the more power it produces. So I'm going to show you how that works too. But first I need some tin cable. I set some tin up right here. This is how you make it. Just three pieces of tin in a row. So we're going to make a good amount of this real quick. Alright, I got 42 pieces. It's getting dark, but that's fine. Um, so let's let's just set, one, uh, set them up. That might cut a little bit of the digging out, but you can never know. I can only sleep at night. Whatever, I just won't sleep tonight. We're inside anyway. Oh, I should put a hatch here. Alright, because we have to go back here again. So this is my, here's my bat box. It's already got 30,000 EU in it. 
which is a lot. So it's already got 30,000 EU in it, 31,000, and uh, that's by coal. And, you know, that's a good method if you have a ton of coal, but if you're in the beginning of the game, you don't, you probably don't want to use all your coal to keep powering all your machines. So this is the way you do it so that you don't need to do that. So let me show you. Uh, I'm gonna dig a, a, a little hole out, and then I will. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back, and so I dug a hole in the ground right here, and let me. Show, the dimensions are five by five, and I believe it's one, two, four deep. Five by five by four deep. Um, it doesn't need to be exactly like this. This is just how you get the most efficient power out of them. Eventually, mine was about five by five. I believe 12 deep, something like that. It's pretty something crazy. So what you do with these is, let me show you real quick. Let me show you how they look. So you, I have this central shaft of that ultra low current cable I built, the ultra low current cable. So here's the central shaft, and um, this is what you hook the water mills up to. So this is what you do. So you set one here. And you set one here. Now you got these two water. I got more of them but I'm not going to use them right this second. So you have these two that are sitting down here like this. So one way you can do it is like this. You hook this cable up, bring it right up to the ceiling actually. And then we'll bring it across and we'll hook it into our bat box so it's, it's going to produce even more power. So the reason I wanted that, that water source which I have out there, I kind of need it in here. is uh, to either add water to them, so you either add water to them, or you surround them with water. So there's two different ways to do this. Subskeleton. Going back inside. So let's make an infinite water source. Let's put, take, grab some water. And so you have them sitting here like this in this hole, and if you click on them, they have this, this little interface. And you take a bucket, I don't remember, it's up or below. And you put it in like this, and see it's got a little water in it right now. Oop, got stuck. It's charging this very slowly. I think it's one EU per tick. There's eight ticks in a second, so eight EU per second is what this is. This is pulling right now, which uh, which is a good amount. You know, if the, if you wanted to build it like this, this is a great way to make uh, an infinite water source right here. You know, you just take one of these. You need some power. And uh, you just put it in, it sucks it up a little bit, and then it, it goes into here, which is great. But that, sorry about the skeleton. Like I was saying, you can either put water in them or around them. Um, I'm just gonna turn my sound down. So we put the water in, you saw what happened. It gives you one EU per tick, eight EU per second. That's how that works. And so that's a nice way to do it. You know, you keep grabbing buckets of water, keep filling it. It's a good way to get power. But what if you don't want to have to keep doing that every time and you want just a renewable source, nothing that takes any time or maintenance. This is how it works. How these guys work is, say you put real water mills in the water. If water's hitting them, they, they spin, right? That's what these blades are supposed to be on the sides. So the more water you have around them, the more they spin, the more they produce. This is how it works. So how they work is they're like a cube. You have one in the center and you have all the space that goes around them. 26 spaces around them, Touch, either touching or at an angle. So these pieces in this angle right here, let me just show you. So all those below, but also all of these. Imagine this all the way on the bottom, all the way around the sides, all the way on the top. All those different spaces can touch it. So that's nine, nine, and eight, 26. Which is great, great way to get power. The only problem with these is, so you think, okay, that's cool, 26, is that's not true. Because, okay, you can power that amount, but you gotta consider the cable already, so you're down to 25. And the cable that comes up out of it, so you're down to 24. And then there's no sense of putting one every, every few blocks to make this gigantic thing. You wanna condense it into a little space, a five by five space, because you don't want this giant thing everywhere. Well, I don't. You might. So I condense mine like this. And the other problem with this this setup is 
is each space that touches it with water produces 0.1 EU. Okay, yeah, that's not a lot, is it? 0.1 EU. So even if you had every side, that's 2.6 EU per, per tick. It's not a lot at all. It's, you know, that's like 20 EU. It's not bad per second, but it's not good. So let me just let me just show you how this works. I'm gonna take this bucket of water. I'm gonna put it right here. Water's hitting this on all different types of sides. Look at it, it's charging. Super slow. It's charging though, so you never have to think about this again. That's gonna continuously pick up power. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Put one there. Now that one's getting power too. Just getting a good amount of power. Let me cook some stuff just so I can pull some power out of this machine. So at this time, right now, it's it, with me cooking, it's taking more power to cook that co that stone over here than it is to, than it's getting. It's so, for two, not that efficient. Uh, let's just add a little more water, too. Can I put a water? Yeah. So this might, this might get us to it. I know, but it's still pulling down. Uh, and then you pull one on the other side, and then every side is, is surrounded by water. So you think. It looks like it's... E right now but look there's a spot here um, if you jump down the spot underneath is not hitting it with water because of how like the water physics are in this game so it, it's not hitting it everywhere so let's take all these out real quick okay what I did was is I took the bat box out so I took all the power away because that's way too much power just sitting there like this and I want to show you more of, of how this is working and uh, so let me take this out too and uh, let's let's add some. So I'll show you that it's worth having more than two. So so there's four. We'll do eight. So you got eight water mills. You know that takes what, four generators. That's nothing. That's you know. And now you're getting power from all those machines. So what you do is you take your water bucket, you splash it on over here. This isn't going to get any power for a while, is it? This guy doesn't want power. Probably isn't enough to, to give it yet. So we'll splash all these guys with some water. Uh, we'll put one here. 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 So you just you want to surround them. You want all the sides to be full of water. Sorry for that. Uh, that's a good amount. Uh, now it now this guy's sucking power up. So once he's done, you can see that it, it is charging. It's it's a decent amount at a time. It's nothing too fast, but you are getting power from these right now. So that's that's a simple water mill setup. Uh, I tried to be as thorough with this as possible. I'm trying to think if I left anything out or I said anything that didn't make any sense. But I think that's that's it. And, you're gonna get power from them. They're gonna go into this box, and you can use it on your machines. It's a pretty simple setup. Um, and then, if say you're not getting enough for right now, pop one of these in here real quick, and then I'll, you're getting even more power out of this. Great setup, easy, extremely cheap. So, a good starter home. I mean, this is a, this right here is just a little starter home. You know, you put a door right here. No one has to see your big gulping mess of water everywhere. And they're charging constantly. And, uh, you know, you can, as many as you have, you can add. So we can add even more. That's my water mill tutorial. If I left anything out, I wasn't thorough enough, please let me know. Oh, it's raining. And I will, I'll, I'll answer any question you have about them. This has been Rock. This is my water mill setup. This is my bat box. Next video, I will be doing a uh, windmill, which I think is kind of fun. So we're going to build one of those. I'm going to show you how to set it up in the air and everything, what, what needs to be done for that. Uh, you guys have a good day, and I will see you soon.